Hello everyone and welcome to our Weekend Reflection brought to you by Spirit Juice Studios. We have a continuation of last week's Gospel where Peter announces the reality of who Jesus is and he's praised by Jesus. But then just a few verses later, Jesus is saying to Peter, get behind me Satan. And so we have this drama, this roller coaster of events. What's going on with Peter? Well, first, Peter has been given this special place of honor, the keys to the kingdom with this authority and Peter is not looking at the kingdom in the same way that Jesus is. Because Jesus starts to prophetically talk about his passion. He's gonna suffer and then he's gonna die. And Peter just can't handle that. He's like, God forbid, that will never happen. Probably well-intentioned, thinking, I'm given this authority, I'm gonna watch over Jesus, that'll never happen to you. But Jesus rebukes him for resisting the passion. I don't know about you, but a lot of times in my life, I can relate to Peter. Sometimes we miss the mark or we just do not see things the way God wants us to see them. We don't understand what it is to be a disciple. If you feel that way like I do, if your life is a seesaw battle between doing really well with things and just not living up to what it is to be a disciple, take good courage that our first pope struggled with the same thing. Many of the saints did the same thing. They struggled. They may have dropped their cross or threw it down, but they got back up. They admitted where they were wrong and they got back up and they followed Jesus. Peter would go on to become one of the greatest saints of all time. He went from resisting the passion to embracing it fully. And how did he do it? All by grace. My brothers and sisters, the same thing can happen for us. What's necessary for that to happen? Keep engaging Jesus. Acknowledge your faults and your sinfulness and keep getting back up. Don't run away because it's not perfect. Don't run away because you struggle. Embrace the fear and move forward holding the hand of Jesus.